Blim. Jammer. Cool father. Floppy card. Oh, the timing. They just, they're Yikes. just killing it. Wow. Uh, can't get enough of Bev and Bob. I've uh, been playing this throughout the office. No one likes me anymore. And uh, <laughs> I might, you might let me go. And I don't get the feeling that they're um, they're doing that like knowing that it's like a joke and like mm-hmm. hamming it up. It feels like they are still like trying to sing these songs. I mean, they set up a studio. There's a green screen. And they are just living the dream. Yeah. They, doing their thing. You don't get the vibe that this is a parody on, on any level. <laughs> I mean, the comments were still on on that one, and the people like masterpiece, best I've ever heard. So, I mean, some of the videos—it's not comments turned off across the board. If yeah. you want to go check it out, it's a lot of fun. It's again, it's Bev and Bob uh, style songs on YouTube. I wonder if they <laughs> believe those comments. Like, I, I wonder if they like. I, I hope they do. I hope they do. Uh-huh. I, I hope that they are um, truly mentally not capable of right. detecting sarcasm <laughs> right. and, just I mean, for their own happiness and bottom line i hope you're having fucking fun exactly that is I hope, it i, hope I you're don't having care a great time i don't care that you're terrible if you're just having a mm-hmm. lot of fun and mm-hmm. what you're doing gotta respect that yeah yeah absolutely yeah they're just uh, they're just enjoying themselves absolutely uh okay episode 85 of is we dumb your name's dan i'm dan you're joe i'm joe yeah, and, and together we're Nailed gonna do, do a show together. Oh, and I'm wearing a, a Bengals jersey that uh, a, a fan gave us, and it was it was a couple months ago. We uh, got like over the holidays, mm. so sorry that we're we're coming up with a different tracking system. Sorry we don't have your name. Thank you. I'm guessing you might be from Cincinnati, or you l- used to live there, or you killed, or you Tyler Boyd, or you killed Tyler Boyd. And I don't know where Tyler Boyd is. <laughs> that, that's his jersey. <laughs> this is his jersey. Uh, great receiver for the Bengals, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, I I was rooting for them this past Super Bowl because Kyler was. And I just love that, like, Kyder's been a fan for a few years. Uh, he loved AJ Green. And that I was also a fan for a couple of years when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they didn't win, but they, but they played a great game. And they're from Ohio. And they're from I'm, Ohio. I'm a Browns fan. And so I was hoping for them to win as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gosh dang. Uh, okay. So you're going out on tour or you're doing tour yes. stuff because you're funny and then people pay you and you make them laugh. Which, which is, is a weird concept. Great. Fucking nuts. Which is a weird concept. I right? mean, you pulled it off. I've done it so long that I just, I don't think of it that way. I just think of it as like, uh, yeah, it's my job. I've been going to work. <laughs> but it is a, if you step back and look at it, I'm like, oh yeah, that's a really weird job. <laughs> Who, how did this work? How, out for how, me? Yeah, how is this possible? How is this possible? <laughs> Who invented this? Who invented this? <laughs> and thank and thank them. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll be in a, I'll be in Atlanta. Hopefully, there's some tickets left for those, and then Charlotte, and then uh, we're just adding a show in Chicago. So if you couldn't get tickets to Tolly Hall, now there's a. A uh, late show at okay. uh, okay. uh, Chicago. Very cool. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm, it's it's going well, and it's fun to see you doing good stuff out it's, there. It's fun. It's fun. It's, uh, it's been fun to, under you know weird times, to put together like new material. Uh, it's been a good challenge, and after like uh, the culture shifting around so mm. much, I've definitely had to think more. I think uh, about about uh, just about stand up, assessing like, where the dust has settled. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like like in the past. I mean, and there's a place for just um not talking about the stuff in stand up. Plenty of comics are not. Maybe just because I'm older or something. It's like I never wanted to be preachy, mm-hmm. but also like after doing uh, more albums of you know more kind of observational, I still have some of that. Still talk about like family stuff, but also there were so many things going on that it felt weird to just like address none of it. Mm-hmm. And it feels like I'm settling in a good place that's fair. Good. I, I didn't want to be unfair, you know that whole thing where people hammer the right or they hammer the left. Well, Does, it doesn't do anybody any favors. That's the bonus of being in the middle. Yeah, you get, it to, is. you get to make fun of everybody. The worst part about being in the middle is you literally never get a candidate to win any office that you like. Yeah. That's the negative. They tried. The negative is every single election is a loss for you. <laughs> but the po- positive, the positive, you get to make fun of everybody. You get to make fun of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then before we move on to the show here, uh, Wet Hot Summer Camp for Bad Magic. The tickets are on sale. Yeah. Uh, we don't know how many are left. Because the way we're recording this right now, yeah. it's ahead of time. Mm-hmm. So if they're all sold out when you get there, Yay. fucking sorry, but you better make sure. Yep. So head over to badmagicmerch.com, and there's a banner right at the top, and that's coming up in August, and it's going to be a blast. Hosted right here in Coeur d'Alene. Fucking mm-hmm. lake party! Woo! It is going to be fun. Get pumped. It's, uh, uh, yeah. Another thing I don't think about often as far as how weird it is, but it's weird that we're even doing it. Mm-hmm. But uh, when it happens, I'm like, I think it's going to be so much fun. Mm. Yeah. We have little bags when you show up. You get KY, condoms. <laughs> It's, it's nothing for survival. It's just strictly <laughs> fucking sex stuff. Whipped cream, cherries. 
<laughs> and a thong. <laughs> Speedos and thongs. And come on, come on. Come on, get in here. No, we're not we can't you can't do naughty stuff, but here's your tweet bag. There's so many things I want to say, but but like Lindsay is running it and she's like, Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> she's like, she's like, litigation. She's like, you can't say that. You pop she's in. like, she's like, we're we're paying for security because we have to for, for like for legal purposes. And then if you're like, no, take your drugs in there. Like she's like, then you were gonna get in so much trouble. So don't even so yeah, so I, I wasn't even saying it just now. I was referring to me not Something saying me it. Me not saying it. Yep. Friday night pegging contest. <laughs> Uh, like fucking what? what? Is, is it Lynn's like no, no, why, why not? You can't advocate for any of that stuff. God damn. Uh, okay, well, let's move off into the show. With, with we'll just stop talking about the other stuff, and then we'll talk about other fun stuff. Okay, are you ready? All right, Logan, let's fucking stay. The very super most important starting question. Yeah. Hey, hey. Oh, there, we, there are. we are. Jesus, Logan, there we are. I missed it. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking Logan. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, have uh, you ever thought about dying? Uh, you know, before we think about dying, <laughs> I just want. I, anyway, before we get that, before we get dark <laughs> on dying, yeah, I just wanted to address that last episode. You, you luckily didn't notice it. Oh, but I was. If if I hopefully I didn't seem off. But what happened was I was. Essentially, oh, yes. I was essentially um, Dutch ovening myself, <laughs> not through farting, nope, but through stinky feet. I uh, the toe saga is. I'm hoping it's almost done. <laughs> it's I, I, think I it's hope it's its, not. I think it's in its final weeks. I'm hopeful. <laughs> it. Um, I realized no I didn't take care of it after my was supposed to be my. I was. I was so glad that it felt better. Yeah. I thought I was all in the clear. And so the day after getting that last little like toenail kind of procedure where they rip you know, acid burn part of it off and all that stuff. I just like went skiing and smashed them in boots. And I don't think that was a good thing to do from <laughs> everything not. I've read yeah. since. Mm -hmm. And I smashed them in shoes and all that stuff. And I was like, no, nah, I'm fine. And then, so then I was trying to take it easy on them, you know, put some like, uh, what is the, oh shit, Neosporin, like the lotion stuff and like. A little tender care. Little tender love. care. Not, not even wear shoes. Traveling, I was wearing these like slippers, but my feet sweat in them. Uh -huh. And I traveled all weekend with them. And then I was wearing them in the studio and I took them off because my feet were getting sweaty. And I, it's that pungent, <laughs> stinky foot. feet. And I'm like, which usually I always wear socks, so I don't have. And I'm like, like to the point that I thought my feet just didn't stink like that. I'm the monster now. Oh, it was so brutal that I was like, he has to know. And then I, I, and then I was, and then I was in my head being like, oh, that's really nice of him to like just <laughs> well, not even call me out. Wow, what a guy! Because he's there. dealing with some shit over there because I can smell it. <laughs> what, like I'm gagging. <laughs> Keep going, keep going. Keep You're doing great, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> There's even like, so I threw them in the back of my truck. I didn't even want them inside anything. And I walked back in the office. So I'm just a barefoot guy in the office now. That's fine. And it's, I still smell it, but it's not as pungent. <laughs> it so, hasn't made its way over here, whew. but I know that feeling. I, I get it all the time. Where like, especially in the summer, I, I didn't even know mm -hmm. if sandals could smell that bad. Man. And for whatever reason, they smell really bad. And I don't know how to fix it. When Ro went through the worst phase of that as a little kid for like two, three years, she would like to wear her just one of those little kid keds or whatever, okay. those Payless type shoes and uh, never wear socks, just hated to wear socks. And I think she thought it was funny that her feet smelled so Sw bad. Swamp foot. That there was a rule she could not take her shoes off in the in the car with me. <laughs> like, like if you enter with those on, they stay on the entire time. Because otherwise, it would make me want to gag when she'd take them off right behind me. Oh, yeah. And I had a, I had a friend in college... Oh my God. Like <laughs> we would get angry. We're like, we would make him, he, he was in a little, the, the phase when I was in a little band and we'd have little band rehearsals and uh, my friend Dallas, I don't care if he hears it. He's a, he's got a good sense of humor. Uh, we're still buddies. Welcome if, to the show, Dallas. Dallas, welcome to the show. But if Dallas came over <laughs> and like took his shoes off there, I think there was one or two times we may, we wouldn't keep practicing until he washed his feet. <laughs> he had to take his shoes outside and he had to wash his feet. Go to the bathtub. It was on un... Dallas. Oh my God. It was unbearable. Bass player. Drummer. Oh, well, I mean, that was my, that, that was my <laughs> first guess, but it was too obvious. So I went with bass player, but I fucking knew it was going to be the drummer. <laughs> fucking knew it. God damn it. Uh, okay, that's great. That's funny. But no, I do not smell it. Okay, good. And so, wonderful. Okay, let's move on and talk about dying. <laughs> great. Okay. We're going to lighten things up. This is from Dummy Perry. Would you rather huh? be enjoying a nice blimp ride on the Hindenburg? Oh, yeah, the Hindenburg, yeah. Or cruising the open sea on the Titanic? You know what? I mean, this is an interesting one. Like, uh, how, how do you want to probably die? No, if, if I'm remembering correctly, no one survived the Hindenburg. I've, I've got stats. Oh, you do? Are you ready? Yeah. So the blimp thing. Mm -hmm. 60, on fire. 63.9% survival rate. So way higher oh. than we thought. There were 62 I thought of, the, died. of the 97 on board. Okay. So, so, wow. Some people fucking live that thing catching on fire. Yep. Fucking pretty crazy, right? Right. And then now let's look at the boat. Right. The boat situation. And we, we know because of what we've learned about the Titanic, 
Yeah. If you had more money, you had a better rate to survive. And if you're a woman or a child. Right. So first class mm -hmm. had a 62% survival rate on the Titanic. Oh, all right. Second class, 41%. Third class, 25%. Damn. <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Dude. Less than half of the first class? Yep. Um, oh so my yeah, God. the total should have bought a better ticket <laughs> overall. Should have had more money. Should have had more money. Like now you're, you're a stupid peasant. <laughs> stupid peasant. Now you're going to die. <laughs> we we had important people to save. <laughs> God. Um, yeah. So totals, yeah, uh, 1,316 and 498 of them, you know, died. if I was a lady, but, but here's, here, here's yeah. what we're going to do. Okay. Let's just assume that you and I, mm -hmm. um, were gentlemen and we were able to get first class. On oh. the Titanic, okay? Mm -hmm. So that puts the survival rate at 62, mm -hmm. which is closer to the 63.9 of the Hindenburg. Okay, pretty close. Okay, so we're going with a 63%-ish survival rate. Which one do you want to be on? And and I will say, before I make my choice on the Titanic, if you are first class and a ruthless piece of shit. And have a huge dick. And if, oh. Where were that, you going? You keep going. <laughs> Sorry. I was, was going to say, if you're ruthless <laughs> and don't care about the women and children thing. Oh. Then you have Who probably, does? Right. Then you have almost 100% chance of survival. The more okay. money you have, the less you care about women and children. <laughs> I think that's <laughs> right, you pretty can, much you, how... You can buy new ones. Right. You trade them in. Yeah. It, like, yeah, exactly. It's not like, if you're kid, super rich, yeah, it's sad to lose your family, but you can literally just buy another family. These orphanages, they're Once not going to fill themselves. Right. Like some, someone's got to be swapping Mail order bride, kids. Right. orphanage, fucking new family. <laughs> right. You, 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 you got the money to do it, yep. do it. Pay them enough. They, they accept the same names. <laughs> You, you could have them wear the same clothes yeah, and, same. They, and just tell them to assume those identities. Can you imagine what a fucking weird childhood that is? You are now Ben. You're Ben. <laughs> you are now Benjamin. Hey, Ben, remember that time you fell off your tricycle? Uh, I don't think. <laughs> remember that time you fell off your tricycle? He's like, yes, yes, Daddy. <laughs> I fell off my tricycle. And Daddy helped you, right? <laughs> yes, Daddy. Yes, yes, Daddy. Daddy, <laughs> Daddy I always helps you me. Say, remember. <laughs> Daddy always helps me. <laughs> That's right, Benjamin. That's right. <laughs> um, All right. So, but ooh. we have to... Uh, so Okay. Burning or drowning. Titanic. Burning or drowning. Titanic. Yeah. If you're on a cruise ship, and cruise ships are pretty fucking sweet. That's true. Even I mean, big ass boat. You're on like an expedition. Mm -hmm. This motherfucker can't sink. Uh, you got music. I you know, got you a good dinners. Band. Steak. Cool. Yeah. Cool shit. None of that shit's on the blimp. That again, a big ass fucking dick. Yeah. We recovered that. And then on the blimp, you your uh, your entertainment on the blimp is probably this sound. Mm -hmm. the, a fan. There's probably like the intercom, like on a plane, but worse. <laughs> And we got into the cloud cover and coming up there. Then cloud, it's, 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 lightning storm. And it's all super echoey because you're going to fucking blimp. <laughs> I, love, I love that you're picturing you're inside of the balloon. <laughs> That's what like, I want to be. Like you're just bong, bong, just walking around inside there. <laughs> you just stick, stick, you up, stick you up on the maintenance side. Like you're, <laughs> your chair is a seatbelt that's like strapped to a metal beam <laughs> inside the blimp. I like the thought of that people could travel in the balloon. <laughs> it's just a, such a funny way to like, they have to smush you through like the opening. But like the Whip. air's there. <laughs> like a balloon. It's, it's trying to come out like a balloon. So they have to have some special, like they have enough air pushing back <laughs> right. to match the force of the air <laughs> maybe more they have like a special thing where like okay the balloon opens they have a tie down <laughs> put you in a Willy Wonka tube <laughs> <laughs> yeah like a, like a, like one of those um, AT, uh, the banks yeah. <laughs> right. and they put you in a tube and <laughs> have to vacuum whatever that's called that system yeah. Yeah, shoot you up into the blimp <laughs> and, and then you're just inside the balloon <laughs> and then I guess to get out you'd have to do that hermetically sealed or I don't know well the way you got out of this okay. one is it crashed it, it caught crashed. on fire caught on fire so you got out but you're in that little like how funny! You're in that little box under <laughs> yeah, the blimp, yeah. so there's nothing uh -huh. in there, right? Nah, just I never just thought boredom, about that. Boredom and sadness. Uh, we got just, just, look, well, just room to stand or sit. I don't know. Up, yeah, I we'll have to look up the inside of a blimp here in a second. What yeah. the fuck does it look like in there? I have no idea. Me either. Um, I'm guessing. How do you? Is there a steering wheel? I'm guessing because you have a little <laughs> flap. Like yeah. that's all you have. And there was, a, there was a novelty. That, that, yeah, there's nothing. What a waste of fucking time. Yeah. They're not practical. <laughs> there, I, I doubt there's even a bathroom in the Hindenburg blimp. I mean, maybe there is. But, there, but there's no way there's like a good fucking food service. Six and around sound. No. there's no, it's, Catered it's meals. <laughs> yeah. So I, th I think. It's like, a, it's like a glorified hot air balloon. Oh, you know what? Are you going to look up the inside? I'm going to look up the in Hindenburg. Uh, <laughs> interior. Interior. Designer. <laughs> interior. How funny. Oh, interior design. I picture. Um. What if a blimp did the same what? thing a balloon does when you let go of it? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> zip it all around the sky. And, ah! People screaming. <laughs> okay, okay, look at this. Is it nice? This? It is. It is okay. nicer. Okay, so I'll bring this up as a uh, as a separate image here. It is nicer than I would have thought. 
Yeah. So you got like a little table, like a little banquet table. Okay. That's that, that it for your whole ride? You got to sit and have dinner the whole time? <laughs> yeah, I don't know that there's anything really else. I mean, there's... Um, <laughs> and you get to look out the window. And you get to look out the window. Okay. I think that's it. I mean, I don't know. That's got to be it. So that's boring. So that's boring. You get to look out or you can sit there. No now, way. Would you rather... No way! There's a couple... There's some nice rooms, maybe. Oh, no, right. that's like that's still the dining room. <laughs> there's, 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 there's no way there's that many rooms. <laughs> they, make, they make you close your eyes, and then they change out the set. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dinner time, everyone close their eyes. And you can hear people like, hot chocolate, hot, hot, like switching out all the tables and shit. <laughs> okay, open your eyes. Ta-da! Okay. <laughs> Lounging area. <laughs> oh, do you guys have an arcade? <sighs> close your eyes. Now, is, wait a minute. Is this the in, uh, open image in a new tab? This is huge. This uh, situation here, it's like, okay, oh, yeah, that's the side over there on the left where they're looking out the window. And then there's a bunch of little rooms. Okay. And then there's stairs that just get you off of the blimp, but there's still not much. You're, you're, this is a cubicle hotel. Yeah. And I don't even, I mean, I don't even know if there's bath. I guess maybe there's bathrooms. There has there to be a bathroom. bathrooms. Can you? There's got to be that Hold stuff. it. Hold it for the whole blimp ride. <laughs> Okay, but still not much. Still not much. <laughs> yeah, there's got to be a bad. That's not Titanic level. There's no like I don't know. Modern cruise ships have bowling alleys and stuff. Titanic had they had fun. They had ballroom. Sure. You dance. You listen to the band. Bar. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do cool stuff. You have a nice room. So, what, yeah. so if you were gonna die, would you rather yeah. be uh, set on fire and die or drown in a frozen? They say drowning is oh, the most peaceful. I know, but that's I, so cold. I would hate that. I, I both would suck. I would love to be set on fire. I would hate to get cold. <laughs> I I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick Titanic because I'm afraid of the water. But I, here's what, I hang on and to the side and I get so cold. Yeah. That eventually I don't care that I die. You're just like I'm so cold. I'm just so cold because I mean, you get really tired if you get cold enough. And then I'm just like I just want to sleep. That sounds more peaceful than just like ah! Ah! just like burning. Yeah. That there's ne there's never been a peaceful burning. <laughs> no 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 one's ever been just like lay down, put their hands behind their head, <laughs> set themselves I'm on gonna, fire. I'm just gonna burn. I'll tell I that die. to the the monks that set themselves on fire though. That's a they, peaceful burning. That's that's true. That's close. I don't know how the <laughs> fuck that guy did that. The, the Vietnam protest. There's multiple. There like, is multiple. There's, there's, they, that's a whole thing. Uh, but I don't know how to, I don't know how to meditate like that. No. They they can go into some transcendental state. <laughs> the blimp pop, pops and you're like, oh fuck, and you sit down, crack your apple sauce. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, don't, as you're burning. Don't care. Doesn't hurt. I'm fine. <laughs> All good. It'll be over soon. <laughs> Turn into ash and reincarnate into the universe. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think. I guess I just freeze to death in some water. Yeah, because uh, it's set on fire. Because it's not like sharks and stuff. We're getting the Titanic. Where, where they went, they just like they just froze. Just frozen. They're dead. Mm hmm. How about that? But that's if we die. <laughs> right. You might survive. Mm -hmm. You've got a pretty, I mean, pretty good chance. That was worst case scenario. Best case scenario is you step onto a boat, grab a little kid, throw them over. <laughs> right. Now you have a seat. Or why'd you throw them out? Save them. Food. You eat them. Right. You, you kill you, the kid. You kill... <laughs> Before you get on the boat, you rip some like some barbecue shit out of the kitchen of the Titanic. Oh my gosh! You run out mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. You run out with get that. Get in the boat, kill the kid immediately. You, <laughs> no, you don't even wait to see if you're hungry. No, you just like you bring a club. It's gonna it, take a while to skin him. <laughs> oh my god! You're the last one on the boat. You have a club. You immediately fucking bash a kid to death. Right. And, the, and then you're like, you we do? might get hungry. We might. <laughs> Man, the boat's right there. <laughs> He's just got the rescue just, boat is just right next to you. You whack him in the head. Like, what the fuck? As you guys you're, are getting on the rescue boat. <laughs> As you're being taken off in handcuffs. I thought we might be hungry. <laughs> right. I, I, I got a prep time. Little snacky poo. You're, you're, you're a real foodie. I've never cooked a kid before. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna have trial and error. Right, right. I'm going to mess up the first filet. <laughs> you know that? Uh, my equipment might burn it. I don't. <laughs> fuck, man. Try I best. panicked. It was a scary time. <laughs> scary. You, weren't, you weren't there. <laughs> right. You're on the, on the boat that's floating. You would have. You I'm on the boat that's sinking. <laughs> God damn. Anybody could have done it. You would have done the same thing I did. Right. You know, all high and mighty because you didn't bash a kid to death the second you stepped on the boat. None of these other boats did that. Well, well. <laughs> they weren't thinking ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. The kid was annoying anyway. Uh, all right. So anyway, we'll just, we'll just drown. Okay. You ready to move on? Yeah. All right. Let's move on to, um, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. And I'm thinking about this one more recently because I'm going on a trip and I needed a passport. Okay. Because I haven't gone on a trip in a long time out of the country that I needed to have a passport. Oh yeah. Cause, oh yeah. Cause you're, we're, go we're going <laughs> to the same place, right? <laughs> Dude, 
I guess we could. I mean, Lindsay, we've never addressed that. I, this for, is, I, I forgot because I keep is forgetting so, what we're doing. This is so absurd. Are we going at the same time? <laughs> yes. Really? But not like in the same exact time. I don't even know if we're on the same fucking airplane. But, but we'll we, be there at the same time? <laughs> yes, dude. That's wild. So without talking to each other, yeah. I, for people that don't know how it works here, we try to link up oh, our vacations, vacations yeah. so that we don't have to work together or work ahead two times in a row. Yeah. So basically, if you went on vacation, we have to record many episodes in advance. Right. And then if you and do then, it, you do it And then if you get again. back and then I yeah. have to go, then yeah. we have to do the same thing again and again. So if we leave at the same time, yeah. we only have to do that once. So we just figured out when that time was going to be. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so we picked out what it was. And then that's all we fucking talked about. We never talked about it again. Yeah. And then uh, Aaron brings up to me. She goes, well, uh, you know how I've always really want to go to Ireland. I think we should do it. And yeah. I'm like, fucking sweet. That sounds really fun. She goes, but getting to Ireland kind of sucks. So the easiest way to do it is we go to Seattle and then we're going to fly to Iceland because right. they have a direct flight. Oh, yeah. And then you just skip over from there to Ireland or go to the UK. You can just kind of skip around. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, that's great. And then I come back in <laughs> and I tell I tell Lindsay, I yeah. said, oh, my God, like we're going to uh, we're going to Iceland. She goes, well, when? And I was like, uh, and I, she goes, we're going to Iceland. I'm like, fucking what? Out of all places? Yeah. I was like, oh, I mean, we're staying for a little bit and then we're skipping over to Ireland. She goes, we're fucking skipping over to Ireland. We're not doing that anymore. Oh, you're gonna, oh okay. So, so maybe you canceled it because. No, I'm, we're going to be in Iceland. No, it was because of <laughs> time with Kyler's school or something. Uh, it fucking was, it kids. Was, it was Kyler's fault. It always it was, is. It was definitely the kids' fault. Because <laughs> I, re I really wanted to go to Ireland. And, and then it's like, now we're, we only have time, I guess, to go, I think. I can't I, remember my own vacation. And I don't even know what days exactly. But I do know that it's funny that we probably will be there at the same time without talking to each other. Yeah. Out of all the places in the world. Fucking Iceland. Yeah. All right. <laughs> See you there, bud. Man, now I'm pissed I'm not going to Ireland. You just get, get in my suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why they got taken away. Kind just of go. Something. Just Damn go. It. Just go. But Iceland's going to be awesome. Just fucking don't just tell go. your family. I'll just, I'll just leave. Just fucking go. <laughs> just like, oh, I'm, hold on. I'm going to the hold store. On. I'll be back with cereal. <laughs> Blah blah blah. And just go to I'll fucking. Hold on, hold on. I grab some shit. I'll be back in three days. Right. Just mumble as I leave. <laughs> just, just go to the airport. <laughs> yeah. You say that uh, while you're like, there's an airplane right outside of your guys' place. What the fuck is that doing here? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you guys. That. I'll tell you guys in three days. <laughs> Take off. Oh, that, that is gonna be fun though. Yeah. That's, I, that's funny if we're in Ireland, uh, Iceland at the same time. And I will. We'll give a high five. Have you ever been to Ireland? No. Me neither. I, 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 I'm gonna go. I'll but go I've always days. wanted to go. Me too. I heard it's so green. Like, mm -hmm. well, I, I've looked into research and it, is, it looks. Just the picture's so green. But yeah, very rainy. All the tourist so things pretty. say plan, make plans to do stuff mm -hmm. and then make alternate plans because it's probably raining. Okay. <laughs> so, Fair. They said the same thing about Iceland. It's like a fuck amazing things to see and do. If it's oh, but it if rain. that, but always have another plan because it's probably gonna be fucking raining. Oh man. Great. It's gonna be a sweet rainy vacation. <laughs> okay, so anyway, yeah. getting that all ready for the passport, I had to go through some old shit, and inside of one of those boxes was my beat to shit social security card. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's what I want to make um excuse me about. And not just about social security cards. Right. And we'll get into that here in just a second, but how insane of a concept a social security card is. Mm -hmm. You can't laminate it. Mm -hmm. uh, you come out of a vagina. Yeah. And they give your parents a piece of paper, a tiny mm -hmm. little piece of paper. Mm -hmm. And they say, hold on to this forever. Yep. For the rest of your life. Hold on to this for the rest of your life. Don't ruin it. Don't mm -hmm. break it. And then you're like, okay, great. Because we're going to so make they, a huge pain in the ass for place. <laughs> right. So they have it. Yeah. And then when you get bigger, they say, hey, here's this piece of paper. Uh, I've had it for a long time. I didn't fuck this up. It's your turn. Right. It's like it's some family magic tre like treasure yeah yeah that you have to pass on to, from one generation to the next oh, you're like great thank you and you just guard it with your life yeah uh you have it in memory but this thing pops up where you need to have your social security card yep and there's certain times they want the original one yep and where the fuck it i mean i'm lucky i, I don't found know mine. mine is <laughs> yeah but they're just beat to shit yeah what why why i yeah what just make it not paper yeah you cheap fucking government i lost mine Years ago, some old wallet or something. I have no idea where it is. Washed it. I kept mine in my oh, wallet for a did while you? In, yeah. in college because I needed it a lot. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and and well, and I and I looked into getting it replaced, and it uh, maybe it's not as bad now with the COVID stuff, you know, letting up. But it was like you had to go to the social security office, you had to find that office. We do have one in like Kootenai County, but like you couldn't come in. You had to like call and make an appointment, and it was like backlogged. It was like it was a huge pain. And what kills me is. This, this little card, so stupid that you have to have that specific little piece of paper mm -hmm. because when you pay taxes, when you pay your income taxes, all that, they don't require shit. 
You don't get to be like, oh, sorry, I'd like to pay my taxes, but I can't find my social security card. So I guess you, you can't know that I'm for sure me. <laughs> right. But that's how it works in the opposite. <laughs> I'll gladly take it. Yeah. Right. And then when you need services from the government that require like like them to give you something, then they're like, no, we need all this paperwork. We got to make sure you're who you think you, you- <laughs> Yeah. They never need the paperwork when you're giving them money. Weird. But they need the paperwork when you want some of that money back for what you paid in I for. I wonder why that is. Right. That's why. How they do that? That's crazy. It's so fucking stupid. It's so fucking stupid. Yep. If, if, if I if am paying taxes based on this number, then let me get whatever the fuck I'm supposed to get that you need that number for. Yeah. You See, get it? It's so obvious. Yeah. It's so yeah. dumb. And going back to, you have to have the original one, has to be paper, yeah. and you can't fucking laminate. But this, uh, laminate it, yeah. this brought me back to thinking about uh, debit cards that we have now, too. Mm -hmm. Flimsy ones? Why? Like, I'm with Bank of America, mm -hmm. and I'm sure if I made more money, I could get a thicker card. I don't fucking know how they do it. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm third class on the Titanic with the with the how thick my debit card is, right? <laughs> so maybe if I was working my classes up, I'd get a cooler card. But they're so flimsy, yeah. and they break all the time. Like, I'm not... I'm not running my card over. I'm not jumping on it. I'm not right. throwing it like out in a windstorm yeah. and I'll just go get it later. Like I'm, it's in my wallet. That's the only yeah. place it ever is. Um, and they break all the time. The strip, the magnetic strip will crack. Yeah. Uh, the middle will crack. It'll snap. It'll start bending or peeling. It's like you motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. you, I know you have other materials you could make these things out of. Right. Uh, right. Because you have hotel keys yep. and they're better. Mm -hmm. They're not flimsy. They're a little more sturdy. Mm -hmm. And then I have uh, one of the business cards for Bad Magic. And it's metal. Yeah. American Express makes metal car. They should yeah. all be metal. It is so nice. It slides. Yeah, you never have to worry about super it. Super like, mm -hmm. easy. And it doesn't grab on anything. It slides nice and uh, nice, and neat in and out of my little wallet or the little jacket in my wallet. Yeah. Ooh, I, I love spending Ooh. your money. And a lot of it is only because the card is metal. Metal uh, card. But I've gone through probably five debit cards in the last 10 years. And it's just because of, of sitting on them and they explode. Yeah, for in something my that important, too. You're right. Yeah, you should, yeah. It's, yeah, it makes no sense. Why not just upgrade it? Maybe it's, it's just got to be like uh, so much cheaper for them to, to keep giving those. But like, unless somebody demands it, maybe they're just not going to give you the metal one. It's got to be some kind of cost situation. And, the, and there is also the point or the argument towards it's weird we even are still using them when we have like phones and watches that scan. Right. In the first place. Especially the, the phone <laughs> right. thing. But then yeah. I guess they have to get the re the receiving technology. But because until... Until then. Until we get that. Yeah, give us nicer cards. Just make them sturdy. Come on. My my car insurance yeah. place does the same fucking thing. Here. You, and and I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it out right now. Okay. And you can see what my car insurance gives me. And they're like, okay, oh. don't fuck this up. Oh, I don't have mine on me. Uh, yep. Oh, here you go. Yep. Yep. I have that for my health insurance. And... Look! I, can you fucking <laughs> hear it? Like, what? Yeah. And then if my yeah. wallet gets wet... Guess right. what? They're completely fucked. I take Just a give picture. me a card. I take a picture of those cards right when I get them because I'm like, this is going to be destroyed in my wallet. <laughs> yeah. Just so I can at least show somebody like, well, these are the numbers that are on it. It's a floppy. God. Mm -hmm. Just. Why? Don't you have enough money? I know. That is a weird insurance thing. Insurance place? Yeah, insurance place. But you know what? If they can save uh, 20 cents, they'll save it. <sighs> God, I want them. You brought up hotel keys. Um, I'm just getting used to finally, like most uh, bigger, the bigger hotel chains, they have an app and you can use the app to get into your room. Oh, that is so much nicer. It is so much nicer. And it's cheaper for them once they build the app and have the, the technology because then you never have to worry about that flimsy little card or uh, replacing those because people take them. Yeah. Or replace them. Yeah. Uh -huh. The thing that kills me is like you get it anywhere near your phone <laughs> right. and now you can't get in your room. You wear it in your pocket or you put it in like your uh, some pants or, or like shirt pocket and you go swimming is yep. how it always happens to me oh yeah you have to smush them all into one little pocket mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then it's demagnetized fuck me so no more plastic cards of any kind god just just let's just make nicer cards come on nicer cards until everyone can figure that out i'm sick of my debit card just existing and breaking let's have metal cards and fuck the government right that's what that's what i took away from uprising that. this uprising. is a call to action right yeah, let's take it over. Yep, we're gonna have. Oh my God, we're gonna we, start with Russia. We're gonna have a new capital right. Wait, <laughs> this, right. this time we raid the capital over. We don't like paper social security cards. <laughs> right. Just like have a crazy. Can you imagine a amassing crowd. a huge crowd of like no more paper cards, no more paper cards, and it's stiffer plastic, stiffer plastic. What is going on? Out Get there? in there! And like, like <laughs> I picture a million people doing what I did with my little plastic, like my little paper card. Just yeah, <laughs> with that sound. 
for a million people. And that's probably pretty scary sounding. That is such a funny like parody <laughs> in my mind of like, it's the same. It's like um, uh, Pelosi and like, <laughs> they're all like fleeing the Capitol building because people are just really angry just about over paper it. social security. <laughs> just <laughs> over it. <laughs> and they should be. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck is going on? Uh, Can't you call one of the greatest countries in the world. Here's your paper fucking social security card. Makes me so mad. It's it's all normal people, like not normal, but, but like angry people looking <laughs> dressed normally about the. But and then somehow the, that one QAnon shaman, shaman with the fucking Viking helmet, we somehow get him back with the bullhorn just for this. He just up for any type of capital raid. He just wants to go I in there. I don't like it either. Right. <laughs> he's like he's our he's the leader again. <laughs> all right. Well, that's it. That's all I had for that. And um, and there we go. Okay. All right. Dumb dumb idiots. There we go. Okay. Yeah, Mike's on. Mike's on. Oh yeah, just making fun of nice, nice. So a little jab at Logan. <laughs> check, check, check. One, two. All right, <laughs> we're, we're ready to go here. Uh, found this story on the internet, and uh, of course it happened in Florida. So a Florida man lets twelve-year-old drive his Jeep at eighty-five miles per hour. Eighty-five miles per hour. Room. Suspect says he wanted to be the cool father. <laughs> And it's even better because he's, he's, he's not even he's not even her fucking dad. So a Florida man uh, is facing felony charges after police said he let a 12 year old girl drive his SUV and told her to speed because oh he wanted to be a cool father, even though he is not her dad. Well, how is he related to her? This is getting pretty Sh sketchy. Sean Michelson, 41, told the arresting officer Monday he is friends with the girl's mother, oh, man. and that the girl and her friend were staying with him for a few days, according to court records. Fuck. This is sounding creepy. Fuck your mom, dude. And this is sounding <laughs> creepy. If you're like, hey, man, you're just going to go stay at Sean's house for a couple days. Mommy will be back later. What? And then you just take off. And the dude you're leaving with is someone who will let your daughter drive his car at 85 miles an hour. This is, <laughs> I have no proof of this, obviously. Oh, but just seeing his mugshot mm -hmm. and putting that story together, when you have the 12-year-old girl and her friend staying at your place for a couple days, and then you're letting them drive the Jeep real fast so you can be like, cool dad. Uh-huh. This guy skeeves me out. Yeah. He's trying to like impress impress the girl, the young kids. Yeah. Ugh. He said the girl had asked earlier in the day if she could drive his Jeep, so he thought it would be cool. Oh my god. <laughs> no, you say, no, you can't drive my Jeep. <laughs> no, you can't. You fucking no, you, what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> You're fucking 12. Get, 12. Out of here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> be cool. And then he was trying to be the cool father. Police report said Michaelson also told offers he had been drinking. <laughs> Listen, this guy's kind of a fucking mess. Sounded good at the time. <laughs> And why is he drinking? The story keeps getting more upsetting. <laughs> I know. He's hanging out with two 12-year-old girls <laughs> like that, that are not his kids. And uh, and he's getting drunk around him, apparently, mm -hmm. and letting, and encouraging one of them to fucking floor it. Uh -huh. This guy. I mean, if, if I'm that girl's dad, ooh, me and this guy Something are, tells me he's not in the picture. That's nah, true. <laughs> <Or else>. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when 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 her dad gets home from the law office, <laughs> right. when he gets off work at the hospital, he's he's working overnight on that hospital case. <laughs> he's suing oh, a couple so big sad. pharma companies. When he gets done with that, <laughs> he's gonna be pissed. <laughs> when he gets done leading his class action lawsuit. <laughs> oh, oh, man. so they got they got spotted when the jeep made an illegal U turn. But here's uh, here's one of my favorite parts. He said that when he asked the twelve year old girl why she was driving so fast, she said Michaelson Michaelson told her to. Speed up, you fucking pussy. Come on. Come on, sissy. <laughs> Drive like a 12-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Hog. <laughs> what are you, 12? <laughs> Slamming yep, Bacardi. Just, yep, just fucking... Oh, my God, of course. Oh, oh God. what a mess. But this did what remind me of a time... And I only remember this because of my stepdad getting reamed for it. Right. Uh, I don't really remember it happening, <laughs> but I remember the... the uh, what? I would love you, you bring up your stepdad. You're like, this reminds me of my stepdad. <laughs> my mom was so mad at him. He picked up a couple 12-year-old girls. <laughs> They're staying at his place for a couple of days. Where? In Florida. <laughs> <laughs> he, had a, he had a place in Florida. <laughs> my mom used to get so mad when my stepdad would go to Florida and hang out with a couple 12-year-old girls. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> he, all, all he said he was being the cool father. He was just quirky. He's trying to be a cool dad. <laughs> so, I mean, I get it. Everyone wants to be a cool dad. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, I remember we went fishing in southern Idaho. And we were driving back, and we were on this highway, like, you know, 55, 60 miles an hour. And I just remember sitting there. We were in a Silverado truck. I think it had, it was just like the one bench back then. It wasn't two different seats. Yeah. Does that make sense? Do Silverados have those back in the day? 
Uh, just one solid bench. I don't know what the fuck oh, that's wait a called. Like, like, like no, uh, no yeah. middle seat, no middle console. Oh, it's just connected right across the top. I was, I, I was thinking about crazy stuff with your stepdad, and I got <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. But like, you're just, you're just. There's no, there's no back seat, right? You're talking about, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah just a bench seat, just the bench seat. Yeah, yeah just, it's just the middle. Because my dad might have the same truck. Okay, so similar I, truck. I think that's what it was. Maybe not. Whatever. Whatever the fucking truck was, that's what it was. And I was sitting next to him. We were coming back from fishing, and I remember he just looked over and he goes, he goes, you want to drive? And I'm like, I'm eight. <laughs> I'm eight years old, and I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to drive. And so he didn't let me sit there and push the gas pedals, but he put me on his lap, right. and then I just had the steering wheel, and we just went flying down the highway going 60 miles an hour. Uh, oh, my God. Which, I mean, I'm not going to yank the wheel. I mean, he has, you know, full control. I could see myself doing that with my own kids. Yeah. Because I know, unless my kid goes, yeah, like, I can yeah. overpower them no yeah, matter what yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah. They're not going to be able to yank my car off the road. Yeah. Um, but I remember when he got home, and then it might have been a couple days past. But then I asked, like, in front of my mom without yeah. me understanding how that relationship works. <laughs> being like, hi, can I drive the car again? And I remember him just being like, what the fuck did you just say? He's fucking three men of the with, bus. With his eyes. Mm -hmm. And my mom's like, what? what? <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. And then I had to go outside in the yard. Well, they got in a scream fight. Uh, and he's, he's like the like one of the calmest dudes ever. Uh, so he, he just gets screamed at. And he goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, about <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. This is, just to get this out of my head, this is so fucked What's up. What's my stepdad doing now? Okay. <laughs> I'm just combining the last scenario with your stepdad. With more 12 year olds? You, your stepdad had you dressed up as a 12 year old girl. <laughs> okay. In the truck. <laughs> and his truck dressed up like a Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> I just pictured you bringing that up like as if it's not creepy. <laughs> you know, like a lot of dads. Like, like you know, kids are weird parents. So my stepdad, he'd have me dressed up like a 12 year old girl. <laughs> Particularly stepdads. <laughs> <laughs> This doesn't usually happen with dads. Happens a lot with stepdads. You know how it is. You know how it is. <laughs> My stepdad taught me to drive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you talk about really I, fast, right? I was, yeah, I was uh, eight, and he let me drive his stock car for the first time. Fucking. On, on the highway. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Hey, on the Jesus. highway, did you just say? <laughs> yep. Fuck. Yeah, he zip tied some two befores to the uh, <laughs> to the pedals, and then I sat on a couple sweatshirts. It was yeah, it was one, like a one with a roll cage and everything. Yeah, where you go, Ricky Bobby? I mean, it was very Ricky Bobby. I mean, how much fun did you have though? Oh my god, it was a blast. Yeah, All right. <laughs> you thought you were going fast. You're probably going like five. <laughs> 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 that reminds me, I actually got to drive a NASCAR uh, here at Spokane State Speedway. Whatever it's called. State Line Speedway. Oh, State Line yeah. Speedway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because uh, in radio, we had a contest, and I f I want to say it was Three Days Grace, the band, Yeah. where you got to win a chance to go out and drive a NASCAR with Three Days Grace. Oh, wow. And then I had to go out there for the promotion promotion part of it. Yeah. Um, and I remember the f I was not the first. I was, I was the first one to go. Uh, out of the three of us that were out there. Yeah. And I remember I thought I was going so fucking fast. Uh, there, there's no speedometer, but you're just ripping around these corners. And I'm like, yeah. And like, you know, taking lap sure, times and shit. Sure. And I was like, oh, I must have killed it. And then I got out. And then a yeah. uh, girl I work with, she was next. And as she's going around, I was like, fuck. I was like, you could probably like, you play this back at like twice the speed and it might look normal. And they turn around and be like, we were saying the same thing about you. <laughs> and then she crushed all of my lap times, which Funny. means I must have been driving so fucking slow. But inside the car. Inside the car, it felt yeah. like I was going 100 miles an hour. That's but I guess funny. I have no, I guess, I have yeah, no, no control over like how fast I can take a bank turn. Right. You just think you're going really fast, but you're going like 55. And man. that was the day I respected going 200 miles an hour in a yeah. fucking car. Just appreciating <laughs> like how good those drivers are. Oh, yeah. Man. Way harder than I ever thought it was. I have, I have no... Uh, my dad like took me out like... Uh, in the like some like little road in the woods mm -hmm. and let me drive his truck around a little bit but with my kids i'm so paranoid my mom my, i feel like i got it from my mom my, and i hate that i that i got this my mom is like the worst passenger she's just very nervous kind of scared person in those situations mm -hmm. and so like if you're driving and she's in the passenger seat it's a lot of like <gasps> oh. right. just like like even if she's not critiquing you she's just like jumpy which makes you jumpy and like god am i driving that bad right and and, uh, and now with my kids, I've taught I taught Kyler how to drive. Like it was like uh, I took it on. It was like our, my dad thing, I guess. And now I'm teaching Monroe how to drive. Mm -hmm. And that is like the most nervous I have been just as a parent with them in either situation. Where it's like I did, I get so I try not to show it to them, but I'm so afraid they're just gonna fucking smash into something. Or the first time I took Monroe actually in this neighborhood, uh, I took over I take over to the um, uh, local grade school. Mm -hmm. And there's in the parking lot there, uh, there's like a little tiny loop. 
So we just do that, do a that. Little busway, mm-hmm. it's a perfect little loop. And she was doing it, you know, just real slow, pretty easy. And, it was, and, the, and the neighborhood was dead. So I was like, you know what? Let's do one lap around the block. Let's do one kickflip. Let's do one fucking kickflip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we go around the block, and sure enough, that's when all the cars come out. <laughs> so then I'm nervous. And then it was like out of a bad movie, like after school, a fucking ball rolls out <laughs> right. from this driveway, and I'm like, okay, Mo, okay, Mo. And then sure enough, little kid. <laughs> fucking toddler runs after the ball I'm like break 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 but I'm like Jesus Christ we almost fucking like her first time out almost fucking killed a, killed a toddler the number one thing that she, everyone's scared of oh my god and she was and actually to her credit I say she almost did she actually was way calmer than me she hit the brake stopped like, and Jesus. she was totally fine yeah she was more like Jesus yeah I, I, I got this yikes whoa can't wait to not drive with you <laughs> right you fucking neurotic lunatic <laughs> okay go a little faster <laughs> slower oh. faster right. blinker faster right. Grace! Jesus fucking Christ. (laughs) This guy's crazy. (laughs) Uh, Okay, let's move on to the dumbest thing I was able to find this week. Okay. Are you ready? Apocalypse pending! It's the apocalypse. Now, speaking of parenting, like we were just talking about. (laughs) Yeah. And uh, I guess that was kind of one of these. I'm just going to push it. Hold on. I'm going to find it. Segway! Boom. I guess don't use it enough. I don't know where it's on. <laughs> fucking thing. Uh, but you have to sometimes discipline the children. Yeah. And this dad took it way too far. So the headline says, "Dad takes down towns and uh, dad takes down towns internet by mistake to get his kids offline." <laughs> so you ready for for how this oh, happened? Boy. Yeah. A French dad faces jail time and a hefty fine after using a signal jammer to prevent his kids from going online and taking the rest of the nearby town down with them. This <laughs> is so funny to me. Hello. Starting at midnight until 3 a.m. every day of the week, the French town of Massages, Massages, Massages found that their cellular and internet service were no longer working. So it's like clockwork. Like what the fuck <laughs> is going on? After a mobile carrier reported the uh, issue to the Agence Nationale de Frescoroske, <laughs> ANFR, we're going to go with that, okay. a public agency responsible for managing the radio, radio electric spectrum in France, it was determined that a signal jammer was being used to block radio frequencies in town. That's an effective jammer. Yeah, so it just, it, it broadcasts, if you're not sure how these work, it bo- broadcasts basically the same frequency, and then if frequencies are in the same, like they're, like the waves hit rest, each other, right, the way they're resonating, of, they'll yeah. cancel each other out. Huh. Yep. So they were trying to get them off of their phones for getting in trouble. They traced the signal, jamming signal to a house in a neighboring town where a homeowner admitted to purchasing a jammer online and using it to force his teenage kids offline. That's pretty funny that he wouldn't think that, like, he thought jamming, it was a super close. Yeah. Like I mean, if you don't understand work in the house, radio yeah. waves, yeah. and you just order it offline, like, this will get my, I'm going to turn off the internet in my home. And he's like, fuck yeah, turns it on, Xbox goes offline. That's crazy that they allow that, that thing has to be illegal. Yeah, you can't. There's that's why he's facing jail time. Right, you can't right. Just he got it off like the dark web or something. And you the same just, thing for the United States. Like you yeah. can't just have a signal jammer. Yeah. and pop it up wherever you want to. Just walk into Best Buy. Can I get a signal jammer? Oh yeah. How how powerful do you want it? Uh, hundred square miles. <laughs> right. Yeah, that'd be aisle three. That'd be great. I want it to take out here and all three and spoke half of Spokane. Right. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. yeah, they're on sale this week. Right, we might have to order one, but I can't believe my phone's working now. As many signal jammers we've been selling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, but yeah, thinking back about just parents and uh, you know doing these doing these types of things, taking things yeah. way too far. That that's pretty funny. To do a lesson, a signal jam, just like what the fuck? And so how how ridiculous? <laughs> Think about uh, people trying like, emergency services. Yeah, like, like okay, don't have a heart attack after three p.m. Right, because for whatever reason, there's a demon <laughs> that's taken every everything down, and we can't call anybody, and it's. Just keeps uh, happening and happening and happening. That'd be so frustrating. Mm-hmm, it just mm-hmm. comes down to a dance trying to get the kids to quit playing video games. Ooh, they were so mad at him. Yeah. What else could you get as a like? What would be a, a step too far as a dad? Uh, like your hmm. I'm trying to think. Okay, maybe they're using the electric. They're, they're they keep on changing the heater. Right. And right. Like, you want them to stop? So you go to the main power line in your neighborhood and cut it. <laughs> like that's kind of the same. Right. And then the next day, mm-hmm. like you'll go back and you'll put it back together. But then when you go into bed and some, you think someone's going to touch it and change it, you go outside and just cut it off the, the power pole. Just Yeah, just a, it's a really just, extreme reaction. Mm-hmm, a huge extreme reaction to a, to a pretty simple situation. I don't think I like, I definitely have overreacted like... Uh, like unplug your router. Yeah. Or take their phones away. Yeah. Like that's also another well, option. And, I, and, I, and I've overreacted like, uh, like verbally, like I was a little snap, I mean my whole life. Uh, but like, 
I think the closest to like a crazy, just like uh, probably that thing we talked about early on in uh, Is We Dumb of just burning the hornets right next to the house, like almost oh, yeah. burning the house down. How could I forget? <laughs> um, that was a crazy overreaction. But a fun one. But a fun one. Mm-hmm. But I don't think I've ever like um, punishing the kids. I never like did something that disrupted like other people's lives or some big. Either, I, yeah, I, I'm capable of that, I'm sure. But like, <laughs> don't for a fucking second <laughs> think I wouldn't. I'm but, I, but I just haven't. <laughs> but I haven't. Has it come up? I'm not saying I'm not capable. Of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I meant that in like a bad way. I know. Just, <laughs> but that is funny. Weird, like, weird like a weird threat. <laughs> weird I mean, I'll fucking do it. <laughs> I'll fucking, I'll do something. I'll go to jail. Jesus, all right. <laughs> I'll kill somebody. Matthew. I'll kill somebody. If it means you get off your fucking phone, I just haven't done it yet. Of course, I mean, I would. Could I? <laughs> yeah, fucking good. Uh, okay, well, that was that. All right, moving on to one star heroes. I get no respect in real life. Always am upset. So I let them know I hate them on the internet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You let them know. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, this is a group I've thought about killing. Killing. Uh, no, I thought about doing one stars before, but I know they have a tough job. But it's TSA, Transportation oh, Security Administration, mm-hmm. um, and, I, and I only bring them up because I don't know what's been going on. And again, just kind of like last week, maybe it's a labor shortage thing. But I have seen <laughs> a serious drop off in the quality of TSA. Office. It's in the Spokane Airport specifically, like where it's so bad. It's kind it's, of it's just why like, you there. Yeah, what is we're probably, happening? We're probably fine if you just get out of the way. Right. <laughs> like, like who is the supervisor? Uh-huh. It, it, it's just the, okay, the example I've had the last couple times, you know, I fly a ton, so I definitely do the, like the TSA pre-check. And if you fly enough on Delta, at least, and you get up enough in their status, like I'm like their diamond flyer just from touring. You're their president. Every, I'm the president. <laughs> but I'm like the, the million miler. So you get in all these kind of like, they give you... <laughs> Uh, maybe I signed up for it initially, but anyway, I got like clear and TSA pre-check like through that. So it saves you time in line. I, I have to get this yeah, out. Yeah. Going back to like us letting kids drive the cars. Yeah. You get enough mileage, they just let you fly the airplane. <laughs> like, oh, Danny's here. <laughs> Hop on in. Excuse me, pilot. <laughs> He's working. Oh, fuck it. All right. Thanks for being a billion miler. <laughs> right. Some crazy next Enjoy. level. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm all yours. All, she's all yours, Danny. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. But so so the, the TSA thing uh, just skips, you know, get to skip like the the longer line. Well, it, they dovetail lately in Spokane, I, I, and I think it is because of staff shortages. They used to have a dedicated TSA pre-check, lock, pre-check like like person there. So you'd like you have you would go through them. You would go in the little pre-check, you know, kind of uh, um, where you set your luggage down, don't take off your shoes, all those things. Mm-hmm. It was like a whole separate system that got you all the way through security. Now it's just a separate line up until you get to the first TSA officer. Then you got to merge with the regular, and they give you a little card, and then you use your card to like tell them like show somebody you don't take off your shoes, that kind of stuff. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, just like a, like a plastic don't laminated worry, card. You don't have to check for shoes here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've already exactly. done it. We've already checked for shoes. We checked for shoes. <laughs> and that's why I have this card. He, he did it. He already checked them. It's a check for shoes card. <laughs> All the shoes have been checked. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm glad you know. <laughs> so weird. They, give you, they should give you like a little funny co- like colored hat. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. I, put a funny hat I on. I had to leave my shoes on. <laughs> just a big oversized like 10-gallon cowboy hat. Oh, yeah, those foam ones. Mm-hmm. You get to wear a giant foam cowboy hat and you just go through the special foam cowboy hat line. <laughs> keep your shoes, just keep your shoes on. <laughs> Just a weird, it's just weird flex. You're wa- walking around the walking around the airport like, God damn it, that motherfucker didn't have to take his shoes off. Howdy. Big VIP. Excuse on it. me. Uh, but there's this guy who's been like, every time I've been there the last three or four trips, he is the guy doing the merging and he ignores the TSA line completely. Oh. So I just get, to the, you get to the front of that and I just stand there. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe he doesn't like me. You know, and I stand there. Could be. Could be. Could be. I stand there and then. So uh, one time after like five or six people on the other side keep going and he doesn't even look at me. Yeah. I was just like, hey, uh, when when do I go? And he goes, just work it out. <laughs> what? Yeah, just work it out. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Just work it out? <laughs> like, you're, you're the one in charge. You're the worker outer. But he is like dead in the eyes. This guy, <laughs> like, when he, he's, you can tell he hates his fucking job so oh, much. He hates the people he's seen. Mm-hmm. And I've seen that vibe. Maybe there's been more rude passengers. But TSA's in general, it's like the quality of all the airports I've gone to has dropped off so fucking much. Where I'm like, well, are they beating you guys? It's conspiracy theory. It's conspiracy theory. They're just they're what, letting down our guard. They get some more mm-hmm. bombs on those planes, and they can beef it back fucking up. Uh. So they're filling it with idiots right now. Yeah. So it's easier to get oh my God. things through. Somebody's fucking reposting that in the chat room right now. Fuck. Well, I hope it's real. I hope it's real. <laughs> and we can we can we can stop the attack mm-hmm. if, we, if we start mm-hmm. acting now. 
Start acting now. Get better. Yeah, pay. I don't know what we got to do. I keep waiting. Why can't we have the um, total recall body scanners? Right. Where like you walk by and they have somebody monitoring the scanner and they see if you have a fucking bomb or whatever. And then and then then they stop you. But otherwise, you just get to walk in. I'd Come hide, on. I would hide stuff in my butt just to get. But they a, could see it in your butt. Don't care. That's funny. Like it's yeah, not a bomb. Yeah, it's like it's 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 for a joke. Just for a joke. Uh huh. Like I put like a like, like a Stevo from Jackass. You have a little GI Joe figure up your ass. Yeah. Or wasn't it? Um, was it Don? Alex? Who's the Don? What's his character? Ryan Dunn. Dunn. Ryan? Oh yeah, Ryan. Dunn. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan Dunn. Yeah. He, he put the the toy car up his butthole and then went to get an X-ray. Oh, maybe X-ray. that's who I'm thinking of. I'm, I think I had Steve-O and Ryan mixed up. Yeah. Then he I went in to get an X-ray. He said, "Oh, my stomach hurts," and they had a Matchbox oh, car. Yeah. Okay. Up his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fun. That's fun. So I would do something like that because they would appreciate it. Yeah. We'd have a good laugh, and I'd get out of there with my giant cowboy hat. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> So so okay so so other people are frustrated and it's just funny to read one star this is O'Hare I picked 126 reviews on Yelp I don't even know why they're on Yelp just people wanted to vent one and a half stars here is uh, David M uh, rude not friendly arrogant did I mention arrogant did another one of these I know did I mention <laughs> get out last episode we had what's your face it was amazing did I mention amazing yeah. <laughs> Did I say it was amazing? Uh, I asked a lady if I needed to take off my watch. She replied very loudly, please don't ask me about anything I've not already mentioned. Whoa. I told her, she, and I can see that happening. I told her she was rude. She said she was not. However, the other <laughs> passengers front and back of me in line told her the same thing. You're Extremely rude. rude. You're rude, lady. Did I mention arrogant? Oh, <laughs> Says gosh. it again. God damn. I'm sure no one reads these posts. <laughs> he, just wanted to, he just wanted to write it. One guy, useful. I know. And I, I love uh, underneath. Yeah, one guy, useful. <laughs> it's useful. Gosh, no, no funny or cool on that one. No. <laughs> uh, the next one, uh, Raj R, Stanford, Connecticut. This is probably the worst TSA agents ever. Six of them are standing around doing nothing. Then a six-month crime baby waiting for a TSA agent to complete testing the formula. It took about 20 minutes, and this is on Thanksgiving when nothing is going on. And the worst part on all of this is that you have a crime baby waiting to be fed while agents are laughing and doing nothing. My God. And that doesn't sound like it's even like uh, Raj's baby. He's just like something he noticed. Yeah, he's like, it's a baby crying. This is a fucking baby crying. But I will say, I have seen this more and more recently. Flying since, uh, you know, like what, in August of uh, um, 21, like getting back into it after having a little break. Right. And I'll see that stuff all the time. Like they'll be like, we'll be needing to do something. And you can hear them. Like they don't even try to pretend they're talking about work. It'll be like a, a group of TSA people are trying to get to their flights. Oh yeah, I saw he posted that yesterday. Mm-hmm. They just don't give a fuck if you're it's just a weird thing where they don't care how fast it takes on any level yeah. clearly. And it's like you motherfuckers like this business only works if people get on their flights. I just I don't know what's going on there, mm-hmm. but it's becoming it's, uh, an issue. An, an issue, exactly. <laughs> Joe G, Phoenix. I'd give them half a star if I could. I don't know. I don't know if hating your life and a bad attitude is part of the hiring requirement or if it happens over time. They are incredibly inefficient and rude. Half the people are standing around talking to each other when additional lines and checks can be opened. Clearly, they don't have an appreciation for anyone's time other than their own. I fly quite a bit and they habitually are the worst experience. Whoever runs the O'Hare division has his head up his ass or just doesn't care. Yeah. yeah. And and and, uh, and flying through O'Hare a lot that is an especially fucking terrible airport. Right. Just like the, the customer service vibe. I'm like, what the fuck is going on in your people's lives? Uh-huh. Why are you all so angry? Right. Well, because, I mean, <laughs> they're fucking TSA. I, I know. That I, I'm like, are they... No one likes you. Yeah. <laughs> like I guess maybe that's... Surface level. Mm-hmm. Everyone hates you. You're trying to take their shit away. Right. Things that they, like, they don't want you to touch their stuff. They don't want you right. to look in their belongings. And that's exactly what you're doing. I wonder if when you first start, if like a lot of people are happier and chippier, and then like there's like a, maybe they'll make it three months, maybe they'll make it six before they're just like, fuck everyone. And then you have to factor this in. Yeah. What's worse? Rude? Yeah. Uh, TSA worker? Huh? Or way too happy TSA worker? Who's a anno- oh. annoyingly chipper? Yeah. And is asking you questions and doing dance and trying to make you sing songs and shit. Ooh, that's that's especially annoying. I haven't I haven't seen one that crazy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I've that, seen ones similar doing things like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where they're like seriously, okay, where, where are you guys going today? Right. Oh, it's great. Wish I could go somewhere. Yeah. And yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, doing like weird dance. Like, I don't know. How about how about just a normal level of friendly? See, maybe mm-hmm. that's where we gotta be. Uh Selena C, one star. I rarely, if ever, write one-star reviews because I tend to at least see small pol- positives in everyone and everything. However. <laughs> However, the TSA at O'Hare gladly earns this one-star review. I've flown all across the country and received much better service and efficiency than here in my hometown. One, customer interaction. It doesn't hurt to say good morning to people and acknowledge their presence. 
I get that we're not all morning people, but as a teacher, if I decided it was okay to be cranky to my students the first two hours of every day, I would feel horrible about myself. Every other city's TSA worker say hello. Say hello! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I love that she's a sick one. Say it! <laughs> I just picture her She going, walks up and just goes, say it! Say it! Hello! Say it! Hello! <laughs> Good! Mean it! <laughs> Head up! <laughs> Two, job efficiency. They spend a ridiculous amount of time chatting amongst each other instead of helping customers. Example, my boyfriend's bag that apparently needed to be checked sat on the sideline for 25 plus minutes while six workers just talked about their night despite me screaming, excuse me, to grab their attention. When they finally rescanned it, they said it was pulled an error and let us go. Waste of time. Stay focused. <laughs> It's a drill sergeant. <laughs> I know. From beginning to end, the TSA team in O'Hare upsets me. That's all I have to say about that. I just like the two all cap sentences. Yeah. Of like, say hello. <laughs> and, then, and then like when they say like, hello, <laughs> stay focused. <laughs> and then like, <laughs> it just goes through. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and she's not wrong. No. It would help if they stayed focused and no. were a little friendlier. It would, yeah. Two more. Uh, James F. One star. On August 19th, 2018. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> I forgot about this one. I love the picture this paints. Okay, on August 19th, 2018, I lost my Nintendo 3DS at a security checkpoint in Logan Airport, Boston, Massachusetts. I had to remove it from my backpack along with my iPad. My backpack had to be scanned because I had Pop-Tarts in it, <laughs> which distracted me from putting the 3DS back in the backpack afterwards. I contacted the TSA, but they did not confirm finding the 3DS. I asked them in an email to check the security footage, but they did not respond ASAP. When they did respond, they told me the 30 days had Fuck. passed since the incident, so the video footage had been deleted. How convenient. Was this dishonesty or incompetency? Either way, we lose, and someone has my 3DS with greedy satisfaction. These guys can be hard workers, but they can also be incompetent or dishonest when we ask them about lost items. My family is very disappointed. God. I just I just like the picture of this. This is like the nerdiest image. Mine? I'm, I'm taking... I Listen... It, things were moving fast. I had to like my my fucking hot pockets or whatever my pop tarts. Pop tarts. I gotten stuck next to my iPad, so I had to get my Nintendo out. <laughs> uh, I just love Nintendo pop tarts fucking iPad. Right. All the same, it just paints such a picture. I'm a go go go. I go go go. <laughs> I'm always on the go. I have time for like a laptop. Too big. I just love video games and pop tarts. For how much I'm moving? Travel back. I know. Uh, and uh, I love that move. Yeah. Is, I've had that done. I don't remember exactly what type of company. You're, or even what I was dealing with, but when you try to interact with them, yeah, and they just push it off, and they come back and be like, "Sorry, your warranty's up," oh, and you're like, "I'm gonna yeah. fucking drive. I'm about mm -hmm. to come kill you." Mm -hmm. and they know what they're doing, and they just push <laughs> it off until you can't do it anymore. Oh. I've had it happen. I think it was a refund for maybe a game. I want to say like on Xbox, mm. where the game was just fucking shit and it wasn't done, and I wanted to refund it. Yeah, and then like if you keep it for more than a week. Or two weeks, like you can't. Yeah, and then they just didn't get back to me for two weeks. Like, sorry, it's been over two weeks. <laughs> like, I'm gonna come. Where oh my do you god, live? that where is do you live? maddening. Who is this? Who is this? Who the fuck is this? I'm gonna uh, kill I'll you. I'll find you. <laughs> All right. Uh, last one. Your life is not worth five bucks to me. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> this was just a funny little quick one. Yes, M. One star writes. If I could give TSA agents a negative star, I would. These are the most disgruntled bunch of motherfuckers I've ever encountered. <laughs> Yes, man. Sum it up. Sum it up in uh, two quick sentences there. And I like uh, funny. funny. Useful. Useful. Nothing cool, though. <laughs> Nothing cool. Nothing cool about that one. She's cool. Uh, oh, man. All right. Well, and uh, if you work for TSA, yeah. hit us up. I bet if you, you work for TSA, yourself. you're like, another oh, right. <laughs> they're right. I am, you, you might I'm be. Clay, I'm crazy depressed. You might be uh, a good worker, but I would bet. I would, you know. I would bet the majority of the people you work with. Have a like a, a deep seated hatred yeah. for the public. Yep. And don't hide it. <laughs> so let us know. Yeah. What's some of the Or maybe we're wrong. What's some of the naughty maybe shit wrong. that's happening inside oh. of uh, TSA? I can only imagine the conversations that go on. And I'm not saying I wouldn't hate him either. Found another bag of heroin today. Who wants it? <laughs> I, I'll take it. I, I get upset about this stuff because I'm always I try to be really nice to TSA agents as they go through, but I don't think that's the general uh, uh, kind of like the attitude they get. Mm -hmm. So if I was on their side and most of the people are just annoyed. Oh. And not saying hello to me and, and not saying, it's like, yeah, I can see like over time just being like, you know what? Fuck all these people. Right. And I totally forgot about this, but I think the worst type of TSA agent I like is the, is the hurrier, the rush guy. Oh, like yes. when I'm clear, like everything yes. is moving. It's uh -huh. a pretty good space. Yes. And like, Hey, come on up here, up here, up here. And they start yes. touching your shit and pushing it forward. You're like, I gotta get my laptop out. Yep. Like I, there's the, it's all stacked up in front of me. Just give yep. me a fucking second. I just ignore that person. I know, Straight up ignore that. So bad. Mm -hmm. Come on, move it up here. Put it up. Okay, uh, come, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's go, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Place to be. And you're like, oh my god. 
Like that's yeah. why everyone hates airports or, or <laughs> scaring them for no reason. Or sometimes I, I have done that thing. Like I will intentionally move slower uh, for that person <laughs> after saying something like, yeah, I've done this a few times before and just give them a hard stare. It's that thing of like nothing illegal about it, uh-huh. but just, you can say fuck you with your eyes and right. just give them one of those and then real slow and deliberate and then give them another look. It's uh-huh. like, suck my dick. <laughs> right. You know, you, like, you I, fucking I, let's go, let's petty go. tyrants. You're like, you're like one second, you pick your shoes up and just throw them across the fucking mm-hmm. room. Like, oh, got to go get my shoes. Any position of authority, it does suck where it's like, I've uh, obviously so much respect for like, um, you know, like law enforcement and all that, but it, but it is going to draw on the, I do feel like they weed most of them out with like law enforcement, psychological tests and everything. But on the lower end with like security guard or TSA agent where the qualifications aren't as strict, I think it draws more of that person that just wants power. Just wants the power. And they don't get it anywhere else in life. Right. And it's like, and then they just immediately just want to abuse it. Well, whatever it is in TSA, it's not making people happy. No. Because... <laughs> No, <laughs> not, not many of them. Uh, the power doesn't seem to have, have cheered them up. Come on, Come body on. scanners. Anyway, so let us know. Send that into dumb at isbedumb.com. Okay, we're going to look at something happy. Are you ready for happy? I like happy. It's, 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 this is a good one. Let's do it right now. Sliver of hope. Uh, Denaya? Denaya? How, how would you say Mount this? Mount Denali. Mount, this is sent in by a mountain. D-E-N-A-Y-A. Denaya? Denaya. Denaya. Denaya what? Denaya me reading your name. Denaya credit. <laughs> Denaya Dan credit. Uh, this was sent in by dummy Denaya. That's it. Okay. I like so, it. Sliver of Hope. Uh, these sports ones always get me. So the context behind this is apparently there is a manager for a high school basketball team, it looks like. And he has been the manager for five years. Yeah. He's never played. So they finally are getting him put into a game oh, yeah. to play. And as you can see, the other team also playing mm-hmm, into this mm-hmm, as well mm-hmm. and helping him out and just check out what happened. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Other team walks over, gives him the ball. Aww. So he's okay. dribbling up. No, he traveled. He traveled. Watch. No, he traveled. Whistle. Hello. Bop. Oh, that's awesome. So sinks a three. Yeah. Team's going crazy. Okay. Cuts to a little bit later. They give him the ball back again. Aww. Travels again, but we're just leaving that out. And then, oh, oh, uh, uh, oh my God! <laughs> Two in a row. I know. Two three pointers in a row. And then, but, but I love how both teams that come together and celebrate cool. it. That's super cool. I know. It's fucking sports. Mm-hmm. Those nice sports More moments. They, they always get me. Yep. Like that one. There's like the football one where like they'll like they hand the ball off. They let them like yeah. score a touchdown. Whatever it may be, yeah. whether it's like a disease or a disability, yep. or there are some where they've always just been around the team, mm-hmm. but never been good enough to play. So they oh, get they a chance them, to go yeah. and play. And they, I mean, yeah, I, I, just, thought, those, I just love those. I thought you were going to show another one. There was another one I saw recently, same kind of thing, basketball. Uh, I can't remember the exact situation with the kid, but um, but he 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 didn't make the first shot, and they let him shoot like oh, both teams, I, yeah. mm-hmm, like seven, eight, nine times in a row until he finally made, and then had that same like yeah, yeah. and everyone's like oh oh yep. yeah yep. I, I, I cool. remember that video too yeah very cool all right thanks for sending that in I appreciate it and if you have something nice you want to see you can send it to the same uh, email I mentioned earlier and that's dumb at isbedumb.com mm-hmm. ready for an annoying thing on the internet <laughs> yes okay let's do it. The internet has all sorts of neat things. Anything you want can be yours. Let's take a peek, together, as a couple. To you, from internet. Sent in by dummy Marissa, and this would be one that um, I'm pretty sure, well, I, I've thought about yeah. buying it, because, it, it. Oh, sorry, let me rephrase what I'm trying to say. I yeah. thought about not bringing it up on the show so that I could buy it, <laughs> and then do it in the office. Oh, okay. But oh. I opted against it. Because I think it might actually fucking drive you crazy. Okay. I wonder if this is because I ordered something. Uh oh. Is it this? Well, it's something that I won't use in the office either. So I'll see. I'll tell you what mine is. So this is an annoying PCB. Yep. I have that at home right now. (laughs) I have that at home right now. It is uh, in my drawer. Oh, no way. And I I thought about it too, (laughs) but I'm like, I don't know where it's too much. You guys going to Iceland too? (laughs) Fuck me, huh? (laughs) (laughs) No, but what I thought, well, since they're not listening, uh, I, I'm thinking about doing that to Monroe. I think I think you should. I think I'm gonna do. Yeah, I gotta find out where to hide it. You know, what? I think I will. I gotta remember to um, uh, Monroe beep. She'll be so mad. Maybe I can do it tonight. So to explain what this thing is, it's a it's a pranking device that just makes random beeps and it won't run out of batteries for three years. 
Yep. So it's an annoying PCB. It's the ultimate gag gift. It says here, simply activate the noisemaker and hide it. It will beep. You can have it screech or make a cricket sound at random intervals from oh. 5 to 45 minutes. April Fool's can compact, light, battery lasts for three years. Got unique sounds with it. Hiding inspiration. I mean, you can just prank all your friends. You can put it under a desk. It's so small, you can put it anywhere. Yeah. It's just flat, and it's made for just driving people insane. It's the size of like a quarter is mm-hmm. what it shows here on Amazon. Okay. I, I wrote it on my hand. Hopefully I'll remember because I thought this would be a good one for, uh, yeah, like Mo. Uh, <laughs> but this was this is one where if, like, if I hated, like worked in a big cubicle environment yep. and hated somebody, especially if I hated somebody who worked a little ways away from me so it doesn't have to annoy me. Or just hate everybody. Or hate everybody. Because it's funny to you if you know where it's coming from. That is true. Yeah, if you just hate everybody, if you could just hide this in the wall, uh-huh. like somehow like put some super glue, put some Gorilla Glue yep. on one part of it after you turn it on and then stick it like underneath some metal bracket somewhere, like really careful. So it takes a while for people to find it. Uh-huh. Oh, and especially if the interval is like five, 10 minutes somewhere out there. So it's not all the time, mm-hmm. but enough where you're like, God damn it. I, can you hear that? Right. <laughs> Yeah, you I mean, can, we can, yeah, yeah, just. And what I love about it being this small is mm-hmm. you you can get really creative with where really you hide creative. it. Really creative. So they could be looking in the direct spot, mm-hmm. and you could still hide it, which God. is even more fun. I mean, there's places where you could put it in some kind of like crack in the floor or cu- yeah. I always they think about get it out, like having a shelf, and then take the shelf out and carve out the back, oh and then God. slide it into the shelf, and then put it back in. Yeah, and no one will ever find it. I was no think- one would ever take a fucking shelf out to find a cricket. I was thinking of a crack <laughs> in a concrete floor. Oh yeah, if it was wide what? enough. That would that'd be pretty fucked up because like you literally could not get it out. Oh, it'd be sad. Oh my god. What Jokes do you over. do? What do you do? Uh burn it. I don't know. You have to start smack pour water in there and try and short circuit <laughs> it, maybe. I like, think that's all god. you can really do. Because it's not protected very well. I feel like you mm-hmm. poured water on it, it would break. You could you could hide this in somebody's car. Yes, you could. Yeah. <sighs> I mean you still you still could. Mm, yeah, if you could like sneak it like if, if okay, if you were like if you if you have experience like detailing or whatever and you know how to really kind of take things apart in the interior but put them back so it looks perfect. Yeah. If you just like had a client you fucking hated <laughs> and you like detail their car but then sneak one of those things inside like back behind a vent. Oh. <laughs> in the floorboard like in some wires, like make it look like it's mm-hmm. part of something mm-hmm. so they don't take it out. Oh my God. <laughs> it looks like it's part of yeah. the electrical system. Yep. Like they don't want to touch it. Uh-huh. That would drive someone fucking crazy. It'd be awful. For three every, years. Every 40 minutes, like a little cricket. <laughs> oh, like, oh my God. Yeah. That's ingenious. Uh, anyway, well, I'm glad that we <laughs> that you've already got one. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I hope that everyone out there goes and gets one as well. Because that'd be really funny to just see these everywhere. And I hope... Is that illegal to do that? Just to be annoying? Can't be. There's no way. We uh, can't break into someone's house and do right. it. But outside of that, it'd be like the smallest crime. I mean, God, risk re- risk versus reward. Being an annoying bitch, five bucks. <laughs> right. <laughs> and worth okay. it, you're, worth it worth, your honor. Oh, worth it. <laughs> While you say that, you're like, worth it, your honor, then cricket. Like a sound goes off in the courtroom. And he's like, God damn it. Like, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. That, was, real, that was a real cricket. <laughs> 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 Evil villain. Uh, uh, okay. Well, we'll just move on and hear from some of the dummies with okay. a segment we like to call Junk Mail. It's Junk Mail. <laughs> this is our first and only piece of junk mail okay. for this week. And it's coming in from Dummy Dakota. He writes... My dad owns his own lawn care business, so in the winter, he subsidizes this with plowing and snow removal. Oh, yeah. I don't remember whether we hit the deer or his plow or something. It was already hit. But either way, he decided he needed to put it out of its misery. Oh, okay. okay. Well, what does this dumbass grab? A plastic shovel from the bed of his truck. Then he proceeds to try and beat this thing to death over the head for 10 minutes. Is he dumb? Yes. Not even a question. He's done countless dumb things, like fall asleep drunk, hanging out of his truck, only for me and my cousin to find him while walking to school as kids. Half asleep and drunk, he thought the stove knob was the bathroom door handle, turned on the stove, uh, set his hand next to the flame and tried to pee, pulled a Dan and Joe and burned all his eyelashes and eyebrows by dousing a fire with kerosene, and of course, shattered the windshield of his truck with his, uh, with his fist in a fit of anger, and I'm sure I could keep going on if I just kept on uh, trying to think. Thanks, y'all. Logan, suck my dick. Joe, check for shoes. <laughs> Dan, just don't. Dakota. Just P.S. Thanks, Dakota. Uh, I have also set things on fire as a kid, like a baseball field with fireworks. My God. Classic. I, I just can't stop thinking about that deer, that I poor know. deer. What? Ten minutes. Just do just it. Just die already. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever this dead deer sound. Little flimsy plastic shovel. <laughs> that scene oh. reminds me of me, myself, and Irene. 
Remember in Jim oh, Carrey has to, kill, so has to kill the cow? No. He's like, I don't know if I saw the whole movie. <laughs> you know, he's like the trooper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, New Jersey, I think. Something. Ah, it's been too Rhode long. Island. He was okay. a Rhode Island. Uh, so he, they had, they had put, pulled over to put the cow out of its misery. And he's like super sad. He's like, <sighs> and shoots it. And then he's walking back to the car with the, uh, you know, his girlfriend. Yeah. And the cow's like, <laughs> and he's like, God damn it. And he goes, like, walks back over and goes, <laughs> And then he stares at it, and then he turns around and walks away. And goes me like one more time. <laughs> and he, goes, <laughs> and he starts shooting over and over and over again. <laughs> so it reminds me of that scene. That's funny. We're just beating it like it's quiet, and then you have to go back and <laughs> hit it. With, <laughs> you have to go back and hit it with the plastic shovel. <laughs> doink, doink. <laughs> oh, uh, how's that? I wonder how that dude's doing. He's probably still alive. All uh, right. How's the shovel? <laughs> spray not not looking too good. <laughs> not, not in good shape. I, I I when you when he first brought up the. Uh, uh, snowplow and the deer. I thought it was going to go in such a different direction. I thought he was going to like somehow like like Funnel. set the deer up in someone's yard, <laughs> like a frozen like it was like a frozen dead deer, like a lawn ornament, <laughs> right? Rain, yeah. Like, Rudolph, like, yeah, like reindeer. Oh my god! Oh, can you imagine? Like some people <laughs> taxidermy have, yard decorations. No, I was just thinking that some people have those Christmas displays where they have <laughs> Santa sled and they have all the reindeer. Mm -hmm. Swap out one of the reindeer for a fucking roadkill. <laughs> so you just have like all these cute plastic deer and then just one fucking mangled, <laughs> one's been mangled, frozen bloody standing deer standing up with his head like half hanging off. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Tis the season. <laughs> all right. Well, that's it for uh, our show. Show number 85. We're just gonna we're just gonna get out of here like it never even happened. Now hop on out. Get on out. Thanks to Logan Keith. You got it. Yeah, buddy. Producing and directing. Uh, you can also head over to badmagicmerch.com or iswedumb.com to check out all of the merch that we have there. And it's a lot of it. Mm -hmm. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Just search for Is We Dumb. And we have the private Facebook group, Is We Dummies, moderated by Liz Hernandez and the All Seeing Eyes. Join it's a it's a wacky community. <laughs> They're crazy. <laughs> a lot of memes. They're crazy in there. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, get the video version of all the shows we do here at Bad Magic. If you go to the internet and search Bad Magic Productions YouTube, you're going to find it. And then in that email again that we've mentioned a couple times throughout the show to send in content, that's dumb at iswedumb.com. Then rate and review us wherever you listen to your podcasts. Thank you. Not doing a joke this week. We're going to get a little bit smarter. Neat fact? You got it. That's why I'm doing it. Wow. Neat fact. Sent in by dummy Chrissy. Did you know the little dot above a lowercase i and j mm -hmm. is called a tittle? A tittle? Little I did not know that. I did not, not know that thing. I just thought it was a dot. I know. It's, it's, it's like, oh, yeah, it's, well, just, it's, it's a dot. No, it's Someone's a tittle. Like, no, that's a tittle. Official. It's a tittle. Little, bop, little tittle. Little tiddly wink. Little tiddly tink. <laughs> little tittle. Tip -tip -pop -pop -tip. <laughs> it's a cute word. It makes sense. It does. The word fits the thing. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Fuck off. Productions.